Hey Tube, it's Rachel from Kiss and Makeup. I miss you guys. I haven't, I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. But anyway, I have so much to tell you. I know the background looks a little different. Um, I got married. So that's kind of been what the break has been. Um, I, I got engaged and then I was just, it was so hectic planning the wedding and everything. And I can post pictures if you guys want to see, but anyway, it was so hectic planning the wedding and it just got to a point to where like everything was put on hold or whatever. So I kind of just had to leave everything alone that I was doing and just strictly focus on the wedding. Um, so yeah, I got married um, June 5th and it's been wonderful. It's been great. I'm really excited to be married and I'm loving it. Um, that's all I really have to say. But anyway, um, today I'm going to be doing a review slash tutorial, tutorial on the Iman Second to None Stick Foundation. Um, recently I've been on this foundation kick. Um, foundation and nude lips is like has been my whole thing lately. Um, I just really want to find some foundations that I can use that aren't necessarily MAC. And I know I did um, a tutorial on, what was it, Revlon Photo Ready. Um, I loved that foundation and I still do love that foundation but the thing is every foundation gives you a different look. Some give you a dewy look, some give you a matte look and I was really looking for a matte look because it's summer and where I live it's super hot, super humid. Like today it's going to be like 88 um, with high humidity, um, the reason for the curly hair. But I just like I don't want to compete with that with my makeup. So if I put on the Revlon Photo Ready which has the little flecks in it, the re you know whatever, the little sparkles in it. Um, that kind of go with the sun. It's, I'm already, I already have oily skin. It's going to make me look even more oily. So I went out and I just found some foundations that I like. And I'm going to be doing a tutorial hopefully every day and posting one every day from here on out of the different foundations that I bought. So today I'm going to be doing Iman's Second to None Stick Foundation along with Iman's, what is this? Second to None Semi Loose Powder. Um, I am an NW47 in MAC in the Studio Fix fluid and I'm an earth five in you mind. Um, there is a website that tells you what you are and I find it to be sort of accurate. Um, I think I could have gone with an earth six but I do like this better and in this I'm an earth medium. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to show you kind of like how I do my whole face. Um, let me check the time. Hold on. Okay. Got plenty of time. Um, I'm just going to show you how I do my whole face in the morning, like my entire routine. So, um, oh, also I guess I'm kind of going to be doing a review on the Monistat Chafing Gel because it's my first time using it. And, well, yesterday it was, and I completely loved it. My face was mad all day. It could have been a combination of a few things, but let's just go ahead and get started so I don't run out of time. Um, the first thing I do is, well, I did my eyebrows and my eyes, um, just a little light smoky. I had to go to class today and work. So, I don't know if you can see, but I'll definitely try and post pictures after the video. Um, the first thing I do is I do all that, and I moisturize. And the thing that I found is that if you want, um, if you want your skin to be flawless, and I'm going to do a video on this later, you really have to cater to your skin. Everybody's skin is different. So, even though it's crucial to moisturize, I only moisturize in the areas where it needs to be moisturized. Um... Like, I'm really oily throughout the day in my T-zone, so I only moisturize my cheeks, my chin, and, you know, like, my chin and my jawline, jawbone. So, that's what I do. And I use um, Clean and Clear. It's a nighttime moisturizer. It's extremely moisturizing without being greasy. Like, if you touch my face, it feels like a baby's bottom. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. And the first thing I do, well, after moisturizing, is I use Philips Milk of Magnesia. And I know it's a mess. It's disgusting looking. But I shake it and I go ahead and apply it to the oily, oiliest spots of my face. So for me, that would be like my T-zone, my chin, my nose. So I just take, shake it so some gets into the cap and I just take a foundation brush and I dip into the cap. And then I go ahead and apply it in between my brows, across my forehead. And morning, there's gonna, it's, when this dries, it's so white. So I'm going to look a little crazy for a minute. And then I put it down my nose, across my nose. Let me turn the TV down. I don't know if you can hear it. I love George Lopez. So I'm going to go ahead and do my chin. And I heard about this. Where did I hear about this? Oh, I typed in to Google 
I mean to YouTube while I was at work. Um, what did I call it? What did I say? Things to make your face not oily throughout the day. And this is what popped up. It's only $3. I heard it was excellent. So I went out and, and got it. Um, and just decided to kind of try it and see how I liked it. And I love it. Um, it's going to dry. It's going to take a second to dry. I don't know if you can see, but it's getting a little white around the edges. Um, so what it does is it completely mattifies your face. It, um, it takes away the oil. It just leaves sort of like, it's kind of like a primer um, without the silicone feeling. So it turns completely white, but when you put your makeup on, you know, all of that will go away. So if I'm looking down, I'm looking in the mirror. So after this dries, it's going to take just a second. And I don't want to stop the video and restart it. But after this dries, I go ahead and put on the Monistat Chafing Gel. So I'm going to start putting that around the rest of my face. And I know you can see it turning white. Like, I'm looking at it. It's insane looking. So I just take um, just a little bit. Like this much. There you go. And I dot it on the crucial parts of my face. Well, actually, I put this all over my whole face. And then I just go ahead and rub it in. And see, that just rubs away... Um, you know, the whiteness of the Milk of Magnesia. And it's important if you do go try the Milk of Magnesia that you get the original scent, original formula. Like, don't get the mint one. That would just be bad. <laughs> um, you can't, you know, I wouldn't suggest you just put everything on your skin, you know. Uh, Milk of Magnesia is cool, the original one. And so is this, because it has the same ingredients as a lot of silicone primers. Um, you can check that out, like if you're if you go to Target or Walmart or something, and you look at different primers. Compare this to another one. That's what I did, and it has a lot of the same ingredients. Now, when you're using the Monistat Chafing Gel, don't overdo it with any primer. Like, forget the chafing gel. With any primer, don't overdo it because all it does is it will create more oil. Um, it can leave you with more oily skin. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it, it is what it is. That's what it does. But anyway, when you put this on, your face is so smooth. This is the best primer I have ever used, and I've used some primers. Um, I have a, a friend who's a makeup artist. I've used the Smashbox. Well, I've tested, I guess. The Smashbox, um, what is it called? Photo Finish Primer or whatever. A bunch of different primers, and I think this is my favorite. It's the cheapest, and my face feels so soft. Like, I was a little skeptical about trying it because it is for your vagina, but it, it's wonderful. Like, it's amazing. Um, when I actually did get the chance to sit down and compare products on my own, you know, I just found to love it. Oh my god, time is running out. So, let me hurry up. So, the next thing I do is I go ahead. Oh, this video is running out. And I take the Iman Stick Foundation and I put it all over crucial areas. Um, I like full coverage. So it's totally up to you about the amount of, you know, lines you draw or whatever. But like I said, I like full coverage. So you kind of look like a little warrior after. Um, and then I just go ahead and close that back up. And I take my flat top brush by Sonia Kashuk. And I just go ahead and work that in. Um, the thing about this foundation, sorry if I'm rushing now, but my video's running out, um, is that it's dry. It goes on creamy, but dry creamy. It's not a dewy creamy. So it leaves you looking completely matte, which is good. So I'm trying my best to work this in as fast as I can. I only have like a minute left. Oh my god, like 50 seconds. Okay. So as soon as you have that worked in, and make sure you work it into your hairline and everything, then you take the Iman Second to None um, mineral powder, like this, and what you do is you click it, and then I use my stippling brush, and I just take that, tap off the excess, and work that in. And because I'm running out of time, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish my entire face. But that's pretty much the gist of things. Um, I'm going to finish my whole face and probably post some pictures if time will allow. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry I rambled and got away from myself. But I love you guys. I miss you guys. And I will definitely be making more videos. Thanks for watching.